Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, snipping up the Madden cheese. Always got a video for you today, all about how to be a better user in the passing game, how to uh, be a better lurk defender. I'm going to go over some very easy steps, things that you should be looking for pre-play and after the play starts uh, to basically raise your chances of getting more interceptions, getting more user lurks which I think is something that we could all stand to be better at uh, in the community. If you want to see more videos like this, maybe like how to be a better run defender, a better user against the run game, uh, let me know in the comment section where the like button. Other than that, it's good, let's get right into the video. Now, there's a lot of things that you want to do pre-snap before a play even starts. One of the things you want to do is you want to look for pre-snap tells. Like this next play, my opponent has uh, a bit, pretty much a, a set where he has two receivers to both sides, but the open side of the field is typically where people like to work, so that's always a tell. The open side of the field, what side of the field has more receivers things like that those are going to be things that really give away where the play is going to go or at least raise the odds of where the play is going to go if people run short field plays a lot of times the out of bounds marker will cost them and they won't get as much as they want to get now in the very next play you can see that as the play starts immediately there's spacing to the slot receiver he's the only receiver that has spacing so that's going to be my read i'm going to shoot right for that that plus the fact that the quarterback is already cocking his arm to throw lets me know that i have to break on a route you always have to keep one eye on the quarterback and all these things combined uh, basically gives the play away well before it starts as you can see right here we get a pick and we're taking it to the house these little indicators that you can pick up every play will raise the chances that you will know exactly what your opponent is going to do well before they actually do it. Now the next play here with my next opponent, knowledge and experience is something that you can't necessarily pick up through a tip video like this. But I've seen this particular formation and a certain play where this slot receiver on the left side basically beats my man coverage a thousand times online. So knowing that, that's going to be a big part of my read going into this play. That combined with the fact that it's a third and 11, I know that that's going to be, these a deeper route's going to be an obvious play, an obvious read for my opponent. So as the play starts, we have that in mind. Now, something that you also want to do on just about every play is you always want to use somebody that has no assignment. On this particular play, I pretty much want to take uh, one of the uh, zone, one of the man coverages over the running backs because a lot of times they stay in the block, which gives me really no assignment on the play. On this particular play, I choose the one on the left because it's closer to the receiver that I suspect is going to be the route and based on the fact that this particular uh, play is a third and 11 I know that if this running back runs a route like this as I have a little bit of route recognition I'm going to see that that's basically just a table route that's not going to make anything happen to the point where he's probably going to get a first down so I then prioritize and switch over to the uh, the receiver that's that's obviously got inside position and try to take that away and then we have another easy pick now my opponent here this is the first uh, passing play that he ran in this game so there really were no other indicators other than what I'm telling you based off of the fact that I haven't seen him run his offense. I'm just going off of these are very simple and basic things that you can do every every game, every play that will give away what you're looking at. Now in the very next offensive series, once again, very early in the game, he runs one more play. This is the very next play that he ran. He spreads me out. I'm not in a good position. Uh, I'm actually in the in, in the wrong defense, but I have the opportunity here that there are still some indicators that basically give away what where the play might go. And what that is is simple. There's three wide receivers to one side, two wide receivers to the other side. So I have to prioritize the side with the three wide receivers. He's in the center of the field, so that's not a tell. But based off of the fact that he has multiple receivers to one side, that's where I'm going to go. Now, as the play starts, you can see right away, this receiver on the left gets an inside release. Um, I can see that he's open. The fact that my opponent doesn't throw them right away lets me know that he's also looking at the right side based off the fact that there's three receivers. People will typically throw to the open side of the field. What side has more receivers? Things like that will always give away a play. And then you can see right here, he, he obviously changes his attention to this other guy as well. As the drag comes across... I follow it across, kind of shielding my intent so he doesn't actually know that I'm aware of that open route, and I just kind of follow that across, always knowing that I'm going to break on that open route as it is. Let's go ahead and reverse that back uh, to see what we were looking at on the offensive side. Now, on the offensive side, it looks like there's going to be coverage over that receiver, and as the play starts, you can see how the cornerback or the uh, the linebacker is actually in the way, but as the play progresses, that route immediately becomes open, and that immediately becomes a read. Which brings me to my next point: know where your help is, know what your other zones on defense are doing, know uh, whether they're doing their job or whether they're not covering, because. 
that indicates more where you need to be as a user than anything else on the field is what your other zones are doing. So that was two picks on two plays. Now my opponent in the very next play is coming out in the exact same formation that I saw him in previously. So this is going to make it very simple for me. A lot of people are repeat offenders when it comes to uh, what plays they like to run. If people are going to be that simple and basic, it makes it very easy for you to guess what they're going to do. And that's part of the battle is really just trying to make your opponent as predictable as possible in formation. Formations like this can really give away intent as he tries to throw it up one more time and then I just jump under it one more time. So that's one of the easiest ways to figure out what people are going to do. Now, post snap, once the play starts, once again, you're, you know, you have to, you have to know what your other zones and other coverages are doing. Here's a man coverage that fails on an inside route. Uh, ultimately, you just have to cut off the angles. You don't actually have to be in good position. You can see how far away I am from this defender, but the fact that he's on an in-breaking route, I'm cutting off the angle perfectly. So if he were to throw that ball, I would be all over, at least have an opportunity to be all over it. So, and he knows that, so he goes in ahead and he throws it up, and it results in another interception based off of the fact that he just couldn't make the throw that he wanted to make based off of the uh, user coverage that I had there cutting off that angle. How you transition from route to route is very important too. A lot of people will accelerate too much and then when they try to shift and change angles, it'll essentially take away all their acceleration and it make it harder for them to catch up to the next route. You want to also keep an eye on the quarterback at all times because the movement that they make in the pocket a lot of times can give away whether or not they're going to throw the ball, obviously, if they start making a throwing quarterback animation, you know that you have to break on a route based off of the fact that they are starting to throw the ball. Things like that are dead giveaways, uh, and they're also very important to keep an eye on. You also want to look for tells as much as possible. This game is all about trying to make your opponent as predictable as possible. And when it comes to, uh, you know, a situation like this, a goal line situation, it's pretty obvious where they have to go with the ball. And then last but not least, one of the most important things is make sure you're tapping the Y or triangle button, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. That will increase the amount of times you get user interceptions. A lot of people hold the Y button, and that's basically the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. Tapping the button will give you a higher success rate of catching the ball. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, like I said, do me a favor to like button or let me know in the comment section, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.